home to the shop. Hi guys, uh, and welcome to Musical Musings. I'm joined with some very special guests. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Joe, Yo, I'm the vocalist. Johnny, Gene, John Luke, whatever you want to call me. I'm the screamer, I'm the singer, I'm the producer. Nice to meet you all. Nice to have you all here. You going, Brian, or me? <laughs> you, you go. <laughs> uh, so my name's Culture. I am what they call the synth wizard in the band. I bring samples. Vice versa, you know how it is. Over to you, Bran. Um, I'm Zumi and I play guitar and uh, try to play guitar anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and collectively, what are you guys known as? Well, Inflections. That is, that is the name. That is the thing. The name is Inflections and culture is our followers. Because it's a culture, you know. It's not a religion, it's a culture. It's not a phase, mum, it's a lifestyle. Exactly, exactly like that. 100%. Once you're, in, once you're in this business, it becomes your life. It literally takes over. But that's the fun about it. If you love it, you'll do it. Exactly. So, I suppose the first question my viewers would want to know is, how do you all know each other? Well, uh, well, obviously, the guitarist I've known since I was like a, a tiny, a tiny kid. Not that small, but I, I, was, I was little. I, uh, we went to school together. We met in school, you know, walking down the corridor. I was wearing like a Slipknot hoodie and stuff. And then, and then, and then my guy was like, oh, yeah, do you like Slipknot? I'm like, yeah, bro, you know, in our squeaky voices that we had when we were like let's, 10 years old. Let's call it Baby Zoomy and Baby John. Yeah, Baby Zoomy and Baby John in those times, yeah. And, um, yeah, there was a music class and we jammed and stuff and it just, you know, we stuck together through the years. So that was, you know, that was quite interesting how we met. Since 2007, to be exact. God, whenever we started school, I'm 25. I don't know when you start school, but you joined school at the same time as me, so... 07, yeah, it was. 07. Oh, yeah. Good year, though. Good year. don't remember much. I was 10 years old, probably. <laughs> uh, with, with, with me, I didn't go back that far. I actually started talking to... I met Bran on a game called DayZ, a top game, top quality game. If you don't have it, you might, you, know, you need to get it. Uh, he was playing on Xbox with my friend at a party and he was like, oh yeah, you know, I make music. And then uh, my friend at the time was like, oh look, this guy does music, Bran. So me and Zumi spoke. We actually worked on two tracks together, which was my own my own style, my own music. Next and they know, were banging, by the way. They were good tracks. They were actually banging. Oh, the check them out. Thank you, John. It had no afflictions, though, buddy. Thank you. Uh, I'm joking. Still good, still uh, good. Uh, and, and then, obviously, we both went off the radar for a bit. We never spoke to each other. Then we came back in contact. Worked on one song called Y'all, which is like a Christmas metal song, which hasn't been released, but one day it will probably see, you know, see the world. Absolutely. And we were just talking, and he asked me, you know, um, you know, how would you like to be in a band? Mm -hmm. And we spoke about it, we processed it, vice versa. Yeah, let's know. Brother um, Keynes was like, oh, I found this guy from DZ and he just samples and stuff. And obviously, at this time, we was looking for a sampler. Because obviously, you know, I didn't have the stuff, I didn't have the equipment. And obviously, you know, he brought it in. And, you know, I got to meet him, which was, which was you know, he's a, he's a wicked guy, honestly. He's helped us out a lot. So, you know, we're very thankful. You know, a very good member. Awesome. So, I suppose, really, from that, I would ask, who influenced you all individually and then collectively to make the sound that you've got now? Well, I've I've always, always, and I'll always say this, Slipknot, Stone Sour, Corey Taylor is like the soul of my influence. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember finding, like, I was in school and I heard Psychosocial, but it was like an uncut version, so it didn't have the limits of the dead and all that stuff. So I was like, wait, I heard that part and I was like, hang on, wait, this is actually insane. This is mad. I got hooked on them then. Ever since then, Slipknot, Corey Taylor, just, you know, I just inspired to scream like him, sound like him, but, you know, not too much like him, but my own, you know, my own twist, my own style, my own vocals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think for me, I started off liking, you know, a lot of lighter stuff like Fight Star, um, Finch, all that sort of like post hardcore stuff. Then I obviously met John Luke and we, went into like Slipknot, Stone Sour, Corn, sort of like all that old school stuff. And then it just got heavier and heavier. So 
basically as as we got older we just listened to heavier stuff really uh-huh so for me i actually grew up around event sevenfold mm-hmm. but as i progressed into my early you know early ages uh hollywood and dead kicked off my love for all sorts of music and i guess Good from choice. there you know from there it's always been this whole you know i live the way of the undead blah 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 but other influences would definitely be um ice on kills uh with regards of like my sampling i would definitely say a band called icy stars mm-hmm. they they do dubstep metal and i think that's where i kind of get that love you know for the mix of them together and i would say pretty much um yeah and a band called attila as well i would say those are my top influences fucking good influences i'll tell you that they That's are gets actually, yeah. you to the toll of music right there now i'm gonna throw this in here just for the viewers to give them a laugh and it might even give you guys a laugh i'd oh, only God. listened to slipknot this year Oh, oh, okay. Oh, wow, come on. <laughs> listen, listen, you know, it's better now than never to find Slipknot, you know. Like, listen, what, what what's your opinion on that? Like, come on. <laughs> I mean, I really like it. But this all sort of leads into my next question as well. I grew up around a much more conservative family. So I had a lot of softer music tastes and stuff like that. I mean, I grew up on Busted and McFly. Oh, we've all been there. McBusted, when they both came together, that was an iconic moment. <laughs> that was yeah, iconic. Was. So with what I've just said to lead into that, were your family big influences on you musically or not so much? Mm, yeah, they they showed me Linkin Park when I was a kid. We've got like CDs that like behind me. I figured out the blurry background, by the way. So that's just suddenly changed. But like behind me, there's the old CDs of my like old bands and stuff. And uh, the one they put Lincoln Park on, and uh, it was like the video and stuff. And I think it was uh, in the end. And the video to that, when I was a kid, I was like, wow, I'm in a different world. This is Narnia to me. Uh, it was amazing. And ever since then, I got hooked on just the style, you know, that new metal with the rapping and the singing, just, you know. Yeah, they influenced me with Lincoln Park, and that, you know, inspired me throughout, you know, my music career to do music. I think uh, for me, uh, honestly, because I play guitar, uh, it was when I first saw um, I think Avenged Sevenfold and Sinister Gates playing guitar, and then I just basically wanted to, you know, although I'm not as good in a, you know, but you know, you try, you try your best, you get your influence, and yeah, surrounding that, my mum brought me up on just really heavy music since back then, you know, since she used to listen to it, so it's just been heavy for me, heavy, heavy, heavy. Family all the way. I was going to say, for me, in my family, they were definitely, you know, the Megadeth, Black Sabbath, Metallica, you know, the classics we love and know today. But then I think I had a bit of a, a moment in life. I just completely went against that. Sorry, my fans doing weird things. Weird noises. Slightly aroused. It's okay. There you are, fans. <laughs> there we are. Burst, it, made, burst, burst. it made weird noises. I do not. I do not consent to that. There, <laughs> it's me trying to be professional, we, but here we go. No, it's all good. Um, <laughs> it's right. My face is off at the moment, so I'm just having a cigarette. Um, no my yeah, my family never actually had like an influence on me in regards of what I enjoy, but they do. You know, I feel like the music that we've done and provided for fans especially my family do enjoy and i think that's probably the greatest thing like an achievement i've known by knowing you because there's a lot of families out there that don't you know it's not their cup of tea but they just don't say enough and they don't respect it where my family some songs that you know they're a bit oh it's a bit too heavy but they respect it they say you know you're my son at the end of the day my mom says you know i'm going to respect you but music-wise, I don't think my influence came from them at all. Oh. It's nice though because there's there's some families that literally do not appreciate music in their house. Like I feel sorry for those people. You know, they're like they want to pick up a guitar, stick it in the amp, and just blast some I don't know slaughter to prevail or get a drum set. But they just don't appreciate music, and it like hinders you. So it's nice that your family, you know, supported you even though they weren't their cup of tea. So, you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, shout out to all the people that can't do music, even though they want to. Don't stop, keep doing it. 
find I it. mean, I'm going to put some links for these guys in the description when we've done this interview. So if my viewers could check these guys out, they are really good. Oh, appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. That yeah, also Damien's brings a big me fan. on to the next part. What is next for you guys? What is your sort of next big move? Um, live. Uh, yeah, live uh, I... rehearsals, really getting ready for the stage. We've been asked a lot to play a few places and, you know, we're just getting ready for the big moves at the minute. We've, you know, we've, our album we've worked very hard on. Oh, no, we burn done. ourselves out. We're, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's nearly done. You know, I can say that for the least, but, you know, we've, we've, purely burnt ourselves out of it every single day we didn't even take a break on weekends you know we was like we have to get this done and we want to you know move as effectively as we can you know yeah next move is to make the sound just sound as good as the studio we want it any less we want the best for our fans and ourselves that's it bring the music to them that is lovely so as a fan i'm going to ask this question next if that's right with you guys no when problem. do we get the goddamn album? <laughs> uh, there we are, there we are. Oh, there's no big question. When does it all come out? <laughs> well, well we, we do officially have a date. What what we're saying, boys? Do we do we spill the beans? Do we open the can of soda pop and release it to I the world? We give it, I say we give it. Yeah, all we right, give it. All we right. give it. Well, go on, go on, Zoom. It's your, it's your role. You okay. give them the day. So, after insane work, it is now... A very soon release on the 26th of this month. Ooh, what's that? 26th, you say? Next, week. Okay. next week. Oh, next week. Next week. No. <laughs> uh, we do this. We do this to everybody that supports us. So we're giving you guys the best we can. Now, my next question is individually, have you each got a favorite track on the album? Oh yes. <laughs> oh yeah. That's, oh, yeah. That, that is such a tough question because like every song we make is like, oh, this is the best song. We'll make another song. This is the best song. Yeah. And it's so hard to go through them because this album's so diverse. It's got so many like different kind of elements in there. Like, you know, there's a bit for everyone in there. I think for me, it has to be cardiac. I was lean on Silent Days, or I'm not going to dismiss Silent Days because I know a lot of people that are watching this go, wait, what about Silent Days? That song is a cracker. But this new song, there's just something about the sound and just everything about it. It's just in your face. Yeah. It's constant. Um, I'd probably say my favourite track is due to being the most fun to play would have to be it would have to probably be uh, a brand new track we're working on that I can't really, you know, say much about. Oh, but... oh, 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 it's more insight. Um, now, as a fan, I'm like, tell me, but obviously, I respect you guys creatively. See, we can. I, I'm assuming we can just tell you guys a name because the album's going to show all the names anyway. Yeah. So, like, the new song oh, is called. Is it, it? Let's. We might as well tell them. It's uh, called, come on. It's yeah, called come on, fra come on. Fracture. Fracture. And okay. uh, and it's a very different style of song. It's very fun to play. Everybody has a lot to do in the song. And when you guys hear it on the album, it's going to be big. Shall I, shall I say about the uh, the little extra on the song? You know, the, the other, you know. Yes. yes, you do. All right, yeah. there is a feature. There is a feature on that song. We're not saying who just yet, but there is a Are we talking big name? You know, he's done a lot of, you know, I can't give too much about what he does because then you'll know what the feature will be doing. Ah. That's got to keep the song quiet. But yeah, he's, he's got a good name to himself and he's been around. He's performed a lot. And a lot of people do know him. So we're just keeping that on the hush. We're keeping that quiet. Oh. You know. But yeah, there is a feature. Uh, I would say for me, personally, in regards of like, we go back to like influences, sounds and all that. Mm -hmm. The new one, Fracture, is very much my cup of tea in regards of how it goes. It's just everything in one song. It's, I mean, if you hear it, when you hear it, it you're going to be like, what the fuck? So you're, let's you're say, hitting, let's, let's you know, give a, you know, what we're saying, should I just give a little idea of what the genre is going to be like? Because no one's going to expect it. I think we should. And even if I say it, <laughs> people are going to be like, how does that? So 
UK drill. We all know what UK drill is, right? Yeah. You know, you're a bit like, you know, you're a cool guy, you know. So it's got a, it's got the influence of some UK drill in there, you know. Yeah. So that's gonna be uh, one thing to describe. I'd probably say grime metal. <laughs> grime Ooh. UK drill. It's gonna it, it it goes hard. I'm gonna tell you, it's a bit more brutal, you know. Yeah. So yeah. That's all we're going to give on that. That's all we're going to give on that. I mean, as a fan, you can see the excitement on my face, right, guys? Yeah, oh, yeah, you, you wait until you hear it. It's going to blow you away, I can guarantee you. I mean, John, do I have permission to say the name of one... Well, no, I haven't even got to say the name of it. Well, you know what? Everyone's going to know it, mate. It, it's coming out very soon, all the track listeners. Like, there is a song on the album called Remember Me. Oh, oh. Which, and I'm, I'm a bit of a weird soul, <laughs> so I'm a bit of a weird soul, so depending on how I'm feeling, each song is, you know, has a different meaning to me. The way, the way, but, the way we, like, the way we did it, basically, was we went in the album, and every song was in, from a different time, and riffs I sent to John, so we went in the album, we protected it, and every song is supposed to sound in its own world, but it's all the same, so the album is very versatile. Hundred percent. It's it's very much like how you feel in like two seconds of a moment. You imagine like you have a twenty four hour day and your your emotions will guarantee change throughout it. That, so that like album that. is like a roller coaster of emotions. Hundred percent. Yeah. So I, I guess you say one. you're taking us on a journey. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. It's you know, it's how we felt in the moment of making it what kind of emotions we was going through and, you know, it just reflects in all the music. Yeah, so I would say, like I said, my top is actually probably Cardiac for me. Hey. Um, but when I'm feeling Cardiac. a bit under the weather, when I'm feeling a bit under the weather, it's definitely a song called Remember Me. Yeah. That will be exclusively on the album, you know, we will, we'll be releasing that as a single, just, you know, that's that's an album surprise. Shakes his head in disappointment. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But honestly, I think, you know, for everyone that will listen to that song, you know, it's a lot more heartfelt. Let's just say that. This album is worth the small weight that there is. <laughs> <laughs> not long left. Not long left until it. Don't worry, know. guys. I will plug that. I will put the date in the description of this. Don't worry. Yeah. But where do you see yourself in, like, five years as a milestone, for example? Honestly, it's, it's going to be constant live live performances and more albums so it's, it's working up the chain you know it's starting off low key and then just building and building and constantly building because you know our, our little family as we like to call it it's growing every time we release a single there's more and more people that are viewing it and you know continuing on the rate that we are it's just going to keep growing and we're going to get bigger and bigger you know so I, I see us you know on some big stages you know in, in the future, 100%. And, you know, a nice following, a nice family that, you know, are behind us, got our backs and just, you know, show up to the shows and just have a wicked time. Well, make sure you say... remember this guy when you're big, yeah? Oh, 100%. We'll remember you. Do not worry. You get special treatment, Damien. You're fine. <laughs> well, I've got special <laughs> needs, so why not? <laughs> oh, <that's... laughs> we, we, um, when, uh, when we released this album, we had flood of messages asking us to come to places we never even heard of before. It was insane. Like we've we've only just started them and we've been asked to play so many shows. That's exactly it. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes man. It's crazy. It's like the last the last two days have been interesting. We actually um I was scrolling through YouTube looking for like inflictions, just going back on some videos. And um, there was a page like big up to them if they watch this they're called Sound Explosion. Yeah sound explosion and, yeah and yeah. they and I just realised, well, they, they shared our single called Inception. And like everyone's commenting, going, this is amazing. And then they shared Sub-Zero and Cardiac. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I woke up again today and I'm viewing the comments. And you got people coming to our pages. you got this, you got that. And the responses are overwhelming. Yeah. There's so many yeah, that, people that coming really, in. It's mad that it came, it came out of the blue for all of us because we weren't expecting it, you know. But it's nice to see someone that really enjoyed our music and seen it and yeah. put it, you know, put us on their page to just, I mean, you know, let their yeah. fans listen to it, you know, like yeah. check out this band and people really enjoy it. So like, so like the question you asked overall, you know, the five years thing, I think 
for us all, we can agree that we'll be playing every single show we, we get a chance to. We are not slowing down. This is the absolutely. Point. It will be non-stop. Yeah. I will have to go on runs. I'll tell you that. I will have to start jogging to keep up with the pace of this. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I, I would say I join you. Here, but... like all casual and stuff, and I'm like, hang on, <laughs> yeah, I need to start jogging. <laughs> I need to start working out a little bit. So you that ready for a uh, little vlog called uh, John and Zoomy Run? Yeah, look at this John and Zoomy <laughs> Run, <laughs> like a charity run. But you know, yeah. you want to join Man. the band on a jog? I need, I need, to, I need a new arm. <laughs> yeah, the Ecky Park Runners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. On the subject of you guys saying you've been asked to play shows, where would your dream cities to tour be? Oh, uh, listen, listen. Um, I've always said this, so it's quite off, Brandon. My dream place in anything to perform will be Download Festival. If I can perform there with this band, you know, and, you know, share the stage with everyone, with Zuma, with Culture, just, you know, it'd blow me away. That would be, you know, a, a um, pinnacle of what, you know, all the work, all the hard work to be there to perform. It'd be, it'd, it'd be so good. You know, it'd be for a dream me, come true, 100%. Yeah, download. For me personally, I'd like to see if I not there. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on now. That's talking my language right there. <laughs> not first. Yeah, I would say so. If it could be one place, I don't know. Like, I've always said Japan. Ah. <sighs> I've always said Japan, That's there's brilliant. just something about, like, and a lot of people ain't going to think this, but Germany as well, the energy. Oh, honestly, you see some German Germany. hardcore. Whee, honestly, you know what I mean? oh, I the energy. Get there. I feel like I'm losing an arm and a leg. <laughs> yeah, the energy they have over there in Japan just go fucking mental. Yeah. You know, yeah. so those are probably my top two. Yeah. Just the place in the rule, you know, Japan, the, the whole place is just somewhere to be it was like, wow, look at this, look at that. So to perform there, 100%. Ah, that's brilliant, that's brilliant. Ah. And I suppose my final question for you guys, because I'm aware that one of you has got to go in a minute, would be, what is a message you want to give your fans right now? Listen, we appreciate every single person, you know, that's, mm-hmm. that's viewed us, that's followed us, this the hardest from day one and has stuck you know with us like it's it's crazy you know what i mean like it's growing and growing and growing and you know we respect every single one of you and you know we hope you can follow us on the journey you know and to support us that's all we want that's all we want just your love and support Mm -hmm. thank you so much for your time lad you're welcome it's been wonderful, and hopefully I'll have you on again when you're big. Oh, yeah, you definitely <laughs> will. Buddy, you can have us whenever you want. Yeah, 100%. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Brian, thank you, thank you very much.